I built two more shopping centers. I built a shopping center in Las Vegas and now one in Korea. Transformative, that's an important word because to transform something, and I had a good chance to build really uh, an addition to the largest museum in Canada. It's in Toronto, the Royal Ontario Museum. It's, uh, it's a museum of art and a museum of natural history all together in one spectacular complex. You can see the turn of the 20th century buildings. Again, I reoriented the building towards the main street. When it was built, it was not the main street. Uh, uh, I, I transformed the geometry of the building, creating something which is really exciting, kind of vitrines into the future, create forms that are really unprecedented, because I think that's what a museum, museum is a you know, place of wonders. It's not just a box in which you show something. It's part of the wonder of nature, wonder of art. And I was able to create these, that's the entrance, these large scale vitrines that show the dinosaurs. And uh, the, muse the Royal Ontario Museum has probably the best collection of dinosaurs in the world. So you can see that the, 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 the topography of the space reflects light in different times of day. It's never just a big mass. It's, it's broken into kind of spectacular pieces of geometry. And you have a secret ref reference to really the exciting uh, adventures inside. And inside you can see uh, amazing, amazing things from thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago. Uh, you can connect the building to the existing fabric through an interstitial space and at the same time create new linkages to the galleries, uh, interesting spaces for contemporary art. Uh, you can see that I didn't ever cut the old building. I, I deferred to the old building. Sometimes you see corners and bits of pieces of the historical structure, but it is kind of crystalline in its form. And on the upper levels, you have really freedom to do very new things. There's a restaurant, views over Toronto. And again, uh, I think it's important to take a risk. You know, of course, all these buildings are in the beginning controversial. You know, people shake their heads and say, oh my God, you know, it doesn't have any right angles. But that's good. That's good because after a while, people start flocking to it, particularly younger generation. And uh, Toronto, Canada is a city of diversity country of diversity, people from all cultures, all religions, come there and enjoy really being presented with something that doesn't underestimate human imagination, because nothing can exceed creativity of the human brain. Well, 